Hi guys, this is Paul with Tweet Town. We're here at Flash Memory Summit 2013. Today I'm sitting down with Matt, the VP of Products from Pure Storage. If you've seen their YouTube videos, you know what I'm talking about. We're probably going to embed a link so you can have a good laugh as well. But they really focus on serious performance from Flash Accelerated Solutions. Um, Want to go ahead and give us a synopsis of your products, Matt? Sure. So Pure Storage is an all-flash array company, and we have a pretty simple goal. We are really trying to march towards towards enabling the all-flash enterprise data center. And so at the end of the day, we create something that looks and acts and smells a lot like an enterprise disk array. It just happens to be made from 100% flash storage. And so we've done a lot of work to understand the barriers of how flash can get adopted within the enterprise. And basically those come down to cost, and being able to drive the cost of flash storage down to actually under the cost of traditional disk, as well as just all the resiliency and integration features that people expect from their traditional storage environments. So we basically work on delivering an all-flash storage array that has literally the same cost profile or under than traditional storage, so we've broken that price barrier. Um, but really, in our view, it's all about the software. And so our array is a software-heavy array where we have all the enterprise features that people have come to expect. HA, resiliency, snapshots, RAID, you name it, and the long list of integration uh, with applications. Clean provisioning, things like that. Et cetera, yeah. You know, and one thing I've noticed is you, you guys use typical, well, you use MLC for your solution, correct? And do you, what kind of endurance are you getting out of there? Yeah, so we use uh, consumer-grade flash, literally the same stuff you might find in your, your laptop. Uh, and our software within our array is literally how we take a large pool of that and make it resilient. So it's, it's not so different than how in the storage world, a few years back, we decided that we could actually make enterprise arrays out of those cheap, crummy PC hard drives. <laughs> yeah. And so we have SATA-based arrays, and we came up with dual parity, et cetera. Uh, so in our array, we basically use a, a specially form of RAID that we call RAID 3D uh, that protects against the failure modes of Flash. And, you know, put simply, we can basically warrant our array through its entire warranty period, which can be up to five, seven plus years. Uh, and if there's ever any Flash burnout that happens, we will replace it at no cost to the customer. Um, but that just isn't going to happen. Absolutely. And I mean, it, and a big part of these types of solutions is density. I mean, you can pack a lot of storage in a very small space. Yep. What type of densities are we looking for in a typical? Yeah, you know, so we literally uh, go in oftentimes with our customers and replace what might have been multiple refrigerator sized disk arrays with thousands of disks in them uh, and replace them with a, a flash array that's the size of a microwave or so. And you know, there's a huge benefit in terms of, of reduction in, in, in rack space, you know, 10x typically. There's also a huge benefit in reduction of power. And you know, it's, it's hard sometimes for customers to understand the compare uh, because you can get fairly dense disk solutions also, Absolutely. but those are capacity oriented. And what we tend to compare to is performance oriented disk solutions where you have a lot of spindles working to try to get performance out of disk. And those tend to be the, uh, the, the the monster disk arrays. And you know, an important feature that, that I noticed from the demos of your products is the hot swappability, which, you know, that, that really makes it an easy to work on solution. You know, if you have a PCIe SSD fail, you're using that to accelerate your workload. I mean, that can be, that equals serious downtime. Yeah. So with you guys, if I if I have a node that I need to refer, you know, a module I need to replace, how hard is that? Yeah, that's a great point. You know, we really tried to engineer around complete, um, not only serviceability, but also in-place expandability. And so if you look at some of the early flash designs, they were PCIe cards or small flash, you know, kind of dense appliances that were really geared towards hosting a single application. And so maybe when you have a single application, you can come up with an HA strategy, you can take a downtime window to replace something. But when you have a real flash array that's hosting hundreds or thousands of applications, there is no downtime window for that. And so we've designed all around non-disruptive upgrades, where literally if there's a, a flash module that fails, we can replace it. Uh, if you want to upgrade the software in the flash array, that can all be done online. You can add capacity to the flash array online. And this is a real differentiator compared to the flash appliance kind of pizza box form factors out there. You know, those are essentially toasters. You buy your toaster, it comes with a certain amount of capacity and performance. And if you want it to go faster, if you want it to get bigger, there's nothing you can do. And with you guys, it's just as simple as pull it, swap it out, or add, and yeah. you, you, you don't miss a beat. And, you know, importantly, you don't have to buy your full capacity on day one. And so we basically can land in a lot of our customer sites the smallest box we sell that can be non-disruptively upgraded and grown to the fastest and biggest box we sell, all without downtime. Yeah, and once they get a taste of the small box, I'm sure they're ready for the yeah. big one. That's for sure. Well, and it, it was a big piece of our design because if you look how fast the flash world's changing, you know, the, the old storage world was geared around three to five year refresh cycles. Absolutely. Well, that's an eternity in flash. And so every nine to 12 months, 
there's new SSDs coming out, faster processors coming out. We wanted to build an architecture that customers could buy into but incrementally upgrade uh, whenever these new generations came out. So that's great because that gives you a scalable architecture that's almost you know, future-proof in a sense. Yeah. And cha changing it is pretty much area. You know, I'll, I'll give you an example. Free. So uh, last year we shipped our FA300 arrays and uh, those started shipping of May last year. Um, this year we've introduced our FA400 which roughly doubles both the performance and the capacity. All of our existing 300 customers were able to go in and non-disruptively upgrade to 400 series controllers to double the performance of their existing array without doing hard down, without throwing away their existing investment. Wow, that's great. I mean, Pure Storage has a, a lot of features to make it an attractive solution. And, and we appreciate your time, Lord. Thanks for stopping by. Likewise, thanks, thanks for the questions. Yeah.